Hi everyone, I'm Action Jacqueline and welcome to your Pilates class. Let's get started. We're going to take the arm up overhead and reach over to the other side. Begin to connect breath to movement. So inhaling into one side and then exhale over to the other side, allowing yourself to connect to your body, getting ready for our workout today. Good. And then let's go ahead and switch sides and just find a comfortable seat there and take an inhale in, exhale, lean over to the other side. Feel the sides of the waist stretching here. This is a direction of movement that we often overlook since we're just usually walking or running. So it's good to take the body in different directions. And this also helps to open up the hips, the low back, the side body and create a strong mind-body connection. Okay, and now let's move on and we're going to go ahead and sit back. Grab hold of your hands behind you for a nice shoulder and chest stretch. If it feels good, lean your head back like I'm doing. Great job. Now let's change positions here. We're going to sit on our bottoms and our tailbone. Feet are flat down on the ground. Grab hands behind your thighs and allow your tailbone to roll down and then rise all the way up. Sort of like a cat cow, but in a seated position. So think about rolling through the tailbone, rolling through the spine, chin comes to chest, and then roll the opposite direction through the tailbone all the way up to the top of the head. This feels really, really, really good. Good, so just allow yourself to move organically. Pull the lower belly in and let's hold here. And we're gonna reach back and forward, back and forward. Just balancing right there on your tailbone, going to your deepest position here. So going as far as you possibly can, all the way back until you can't hold it anymore and then lift up from there. Nice, really, really nice. Keep going just like that, lowering Pressing lower belly into your spine. Good, and then go ahead and roll all the way down onto your back. And I'm placing my hands here on my ribs, as you can see, because I want you to practice breathing into the ribs and then closing the ribs down as you exhale. Inhale in again to the hands and make sure that you're pressing into your ribs and then exhale, nice. Again, inhale in. Breathe into the sides of your waist and then exhale, bring the ribs down. Now keep the ribs down, lower belly stays flat and in, tuck the tailbone slightly under, reach your arms forward and then lift up from there. So remembering that our placement alignment is so important as we move through these positions because this is gonna create a foundation for every other kind of movement. Nice, keep going. Chin is slightly in towards your chest. Really nice, just pulsing up, starting to feel the burn and then lower down. Nice, and now we're going to roll all the way up to the top and then roll all the way down one vertebrae at a time, moving as slowly as you can. The slower, the better. Right here, exhale all the way up. Beautiful, lift up high through the spine and then roll through one vertebrae at a time. Nice work here. Ribs go down, tailbone under, belly in, exhale. Nice, keep your shoulders soft. And just know that this is targeting your lowest, deepest ab muscles here. Okay, place the hands behind your head, bring your knees in towards your chest and have them stop right over your hips so they're in tabletop position and tap one toe down to the floor at a time. So I'm lifting my head up, my lower belly is pressing down into the spine and I'm letting the toe tap one at a time. This is a great exercise to create a mind connection to your lower belly because sometimes those muscles fall asleep. So this is a chance for you to really connect with them, feel them, focus on them, nice, and rest the head back and let's move into our next move. We're gonna tap two feet down at the same time now and come on up. Elbows are wide, lower belly presses down. Try not to let the muscles protrude forward and out like a loaf of bread, but instead you wanna pull them in and that's where the work is right here. And keeping the muscles engaged, 
Nice, and not letting the rectus abdominis take over, which is the top layer, but we're getting the deepest, lowest ab muscles in. Good. Now you're going to press one hand into your knee and switch sides. Now I love this one because it is so challenging. Nice, and switch. And this is really good if you're someone who has a popping hip, like if your hips pop anytime you do moves like this, this is going to help activate the muscles so that the hip flexors don't take over. Good, and then take a little breather here, hugging knees in towards your chest. Take a nice big deep breath in. Make sure that you're continuing to breathe. And let's do that again. Press hand into knee and switch. Switch, really making contact, pressing knee and hand towards each other to activate your muscles so that you can create the strongest core possible. And rest right there. Take a nice big deep breath in and exhale hands behind head and now we're going to add a twist so going back to the single toe taps twist elbow to knee get your shoulder up off of the floor and actually make contact elbow to knee so think of the elbow going towards your knee as opposed to your knee going towards your elbow keeping the hips nice and stable using your core lift on up as we move and use our oblique muscles nice work and twist and twist good i know moving slow can be very challenging and rest right there place hands underneath your thighs and slowly roll all the way up to the top a really beautiful job now let's go ahead and roll down one vertebrae at a time moving so slow now I bring the knees together and you notice my hands are on my thighs to help myself get up. This is a great place to start and then roll down one vertebrae at a time. Switch the legs, squeeze your knees together. Pretend like there's something really important in between those knees and you don't wanna let them go. And same thing as we've been doing, we're rolling up one vertebrae at a time and rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Nice work, keep going here. Now, if you're ready to do it without your arms, go ahead and join me here. Arms stay parallel to your leg the whole time, still moving nice and slow as if you're moving through water. So there's a sense of resistance happening within your own body that's created by you. Beautiful. And let's pull our knees in towards our chest, hands on your shins, and we're gonna do rolling like a ball here. The goal here is to keep everything in nice and tight and compact. As you roll back and forward, try to balance up on your tailbone. Roll back and roll forward. Lift up tall through the chest. Good, roll back and forward. Try to keep the toes off of the ground if you can. Nice, and reach the arms forward. Extend the toes, straighten your legs, and nice. Great work. Go ahead and straighten out your legs on the mat. Reach arms up overhead and let's take a nice stretch right here. Releasing hand towards the floor. Just going to the depth that you can go. And then go ahead and roll all the way down back onto your back for single leg reach. Pulling the knee in towards your chest one at a time. Good, pulse, pulse, pulse. Pulse. Notice how my shoulders are up off of the ground and I'm bringing my knee in towards my chest. The other leg extends and points forward. Lower belly stays squeezed in. Good. And now I'm going to take it to a straight leg if you'd like to advance this move with me here. Add the straight leg and I'm grabbing right where my calf is. Pulse, 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 pulse. Remember all the same principles apply. Ribs down, Tailbone slightly tucked under, lower belly squeezes in. I'm breathing in and out through my nose. Now let's take it one notch up, just switch, switch without the hands. Shoulders up off the ground and switch, 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 switch. Nice, hold onto one leg, pull it in, bring your head in towards your leg as much as you can and let's hold it here for a nice stretch. Take a few circles around with your foot. Whatever feels good for you. I just like to kind of move it around and notice where it feels tight. 
and bring your head back up towards your shin and let's switch sides. Lift up towards the shin, lower down and hold on to the leg. Stretch it out. This feels so good as you stretch underneath the foot all the way down the calf and hamstrings and even low back. Beautiful work. Pull the knees in towards your chest and take a nice big deep breath in and exhale. We're going to move into our next exercise, double leg stretch. Good knees in towards your chest. Extend everything out and then back in. So moving in a circular range of motion, arms overhead, circle round and down. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, circle. Inhale and in, reach, reach, reach. Exhale again, moving through water. Nice honey type of resistance moving through the body. Okay, let's move into our next exercise now. And take a nice child's pose to take a breather. And then come on forward. We're going to move on to our hands and into a half plank position for arms. So lowering down into a tricep dip and then back into child's pose. Roll forward, tricep push up, press up, back into a child's pose. Nice, roll forward and just keep this motion going. You can take it at my pace or at your own pace, but I love this because this really opens up your spine, it engages your triceps, your chest, your back muscles feels really good. Keep your lower belly squeezed in. Legs are together, feet are together. And keep moving nice flowy movements here as we allow our bodies to strengthen. Beautiful elbows squeeze in. Nice job. Feel those triceps working. It's amazing what you can do with just your own body weight here. You can get so, so strong. And just remember every rep you are getting stronger and stronger. Keep it going. Nice job. Okay, hold here in your push-up position and little pulses. Pulse, 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 pulse. You can do it, I know. And press all the way back. Nice job. Let's keep moving our arms and let's come into this reverse plank. Fingertips towards your heels and towards your toes. Nice, and little pulses right here. Elbows go back, squeeze the shoulder blades together and pulse it down, 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 and down. Nice job. Feet are just about hip distance apart. And now let's press the hips up towards the sky, release the head, and let's do that again. And press, 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 press. Feel those triceps burning. Good, I love this one because it strengthens your back and really improves your posture. And then release the head back, push the hips up. And nice job, one last time, here we go. Pulse, 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 pulse. You can do it, I know, you are so strong. Let's do this together. Pulse, and press the hips up, lean the head back, open up the chest. And nice job, one more time, good. Pulse, 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 pulse. Press, press, and release. Okay, nice job. I gave you an extra little bonus there. And shake out the hands just to release the wrists. And we're gonna take a little side bend stretch. So grab onto the wrist and then just take a few nice little stretches from side to side. And then lay onto your stomachs. Let's move into some back work here now. Hands are going to reach back behind you and you're going to pulse the palms up towards the sky. Pulse up, 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 up. Good, so palms are up and lift, 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 lift. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. This is really good for the back. And even though you're on your stomach, pull your belly up and in towards your spine. Here we go. Up, up, up. Good, now we're gonna reverse. So your palm is gonna go up and then the other side of the palm. So they switch, flipping and flopping. Up and switch, switch, switch. Up, 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 switch. Each time, nice, keep going. Lift, 
lift and reach towards your toes lift the head up draw the shoulders down and back lift the toes up see if you can lift yourself up even higher squeeze the feet together and release down release the head down i know that's a lot of work on the back take a big deep breath in exhale beautiful reach the hands back here we go we're at it again lift up and see if you can now even bring the palms together and clasp them together if that's available to you lift everything up lift the toes up squeeze the heels together lift up higher and release beautiful take a breather right here and one more time here we go lift on up everything lifts reach towards your toes don't hold anything back see if you can clasp the hands this is it this is where you give it your all draw the shoulders down and release good bring your feet in towards your butt grab onto your feet and let's take a nice stretch right here so push the feet back and allow the feet to guide the chest up to give yourself a nice chest and shoulder stretch uh, this is a really nice one to do really every day to reverse all of the sitting that we're all doing so much. Good, let's do that again. Grab onto the ankles, use the feet to open up the chest. So it's up to you to how far you wanna take this. Use those legs. Nice job, lower it all down. Beautiful. Okay, let's move into our next exercise now. Reach your leg out to the side, toe is pointing forward, arms reach out to the side, and we're going to lean towards our ankle, but our arm stays parallel to the leg, and we're gonna go into the diagonal. So diagonal over to one side, and then diagonal over to the other side. Beautiful, you're gonna to start to feel those obliques working here. Nice, really spread across the chest, feel your arms and wings expanding with each and every rep. Good, now we're gonna hold here and we're gonna pulse. And pulse, beautiful. Pulse and pulse. Really expand through the arms and then go ahead and place the hand all the way down to the floor. Other hand is behind the head, lift that leg up. Nice work. And then we're gonna swing it back and swing it forward two times. Little pulses, back, back and then forward, forward. Your leg stays straight the entire time, so engage your quad and point the toe, sweep the leg around, and the goal is to keep the leg at the height of your hip the whole time. And don't forget about that supporting arm, so the hand is pressed down into the floor, and really use your shoulder there, so don't sink down into your shoulder. Make sure that you're actually pressing out of the floor, your core is definitely still turned on, you're gonna be using those obliques here, lower belly squeezes into your spine. Nice job. Okay, let's take big circles into one direction. Nice, hold on to that core there. Ribs down, belly in, that's gonna help keep the hips a little bit more stable. Circling and circling the legs. You're doing awesome. I know that there's a burn. Okay, let's reverse the circle here. Big circles, keeping the toe pointed, engaging through the quad, pulling the lower belly in, keeping the hand behind the head. Keep pressing out of the left shoulder. Nice, keep circling. And good. Now we're going to tap the toe down, lift all the way up, tap and lift. So now my foot is flexed, my other arm is reaching up towards the sky. You're gonna feel that booty burn, lift and tap, lift and tap. So keep all of the form of the upper body, shoulders, hips, ribs, belly. Nice, okay, now we're going to step into a side plank pose. Really lift those hips up and then lower, lift, lower, lift. Notice the stacking of my feet. So I'm flexing my feet and I'm really pressing into the knife edge of my feet. Good, press and press. Ribs stay down, elbow is wide up above the head and nice job. Whew, okay, let's move on to the other side. You did awesome. Now you know where we're going. Here we go. Let's start with our teeter-totter here with our arms reaching and give a little reach at the end. Good. You're always trying to make yourself longer, stretching the muscles into a new range of motion while also creating strength in those new ranges of motion, which is how you create 
mobility, resilience, longevity in your joints and muscles. Beautiful. Now let's hold to the side and little pulses reach and reach. Ribs are down, lower belly is in. Reach and reach. Keep the arms expanding wide to either side. Feel like someone has your hands and they're pulling them in different directions, which is helping you stretch across the chest. Nice, and then place the hand all the way down. Other hand comes behind the head. Pulse it back twice and then pulse it forward twice. Leg is straight and leg is at the height of your hip. So try not to let it dip below. It's gonna want to, but keep it up there. You've got this, I know. Just remember that that burning sensation is your body getting stronger. It's your body changing. It's your body creating defined, beautiful, lean, long muscles. Good, so stick with it. Use your breath to power yourself from within. Point your toe and engage your quad. Okay, let's take our circles on this side here. And reverse the circle here now. And place the foot down, reach the other arm up towards the sky and lift and lower that leg. Beautiful, you gotta really use your core, keep your leg as straight as possible. Foot is flexed and keep that other arm shooting straight up towards the sky. Use your core so this ends up being full body, right? So just get that leg up, the whole body really has to work. Even the back muscles, good. Those shoulder blades are coming together as you reach the hand up towards the sky and you're feeling your leg and glutes get stronger and stronger. Okay, nice job there. Come on to your elbows and on to your tippy toes. And let's come into our forearm plank here. Hold it here with me. Shoulders are over your elbows. Remember that your forearms are parallel to one another. And lower the knees down and lift the knees up. Lower the knees down and lift up. Beautiful. So imagine your body in this nice long straight plank position. Tap and lift and just really keep this image of your body and your mind as strong, as solid, capable, beautiful. And then stop the knee lifts and hold here in your forearm plank. I know this is challenging, but you've got this. Pull the lower belly in, tuck the tailbone under. Here we go. Now we're going to rock forward and back. So I'm pushing through my toes, then through my heels, toes and then heels. Beautiful, see how much distance you can cover here. Going forward and back, keeping that strong plank. Everything is working. Ankles are together, inner thighs together, quads engaged, lower belly is in, tailbone is tucked under, ribs are in. Okay, now let's hold the plank. So much going on in a plank pose. That's why this is a pose you can really do every day and let's release because you're going to learn something new about your body. You're going to find a new place to work on and that's what I like to be. I like to stay open-minded and curious with my body. Good, let's take a nice little stretch here. All right, and let's take this step forward as we begin to cool down the body. You did such an amazing job. Now let's go ahead and take the right arm up, lower the left hand down to the floor, and this is a really yummy, yummy stretch. So lift the elbow up towards the sky, left elbow down, up, and down. Nice job. And go ahead and sit the hips back. Okay, let's switch to the other side. Here we go, lift up, tap it down, lift it up, tap it down, beautiful job. Okay, and let's come and bring our feet together. And let's go ahead and take a nice forward fold here. 
You did an amazing, amazing job today in our class today. And just remember that the burning, the learning, everything that you experienced in this class is a part of the journey. And if you can find a way to enjoy yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who is struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're going to find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you wanna give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days. After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below, join me now. I'll see you inside, bye.